Oh, we got a bomb. Tristone, Tristani, Discordant, 5 mana, 1, 4. Every creature gets plus 1. Enters the battlefield with 2 1 1 tokens. And this guy is immune to mind control effects. So that's good. Goes for battle, borrows challenger, and borrows cards, borrows guilds. Swords cut a giant is okay. Usually not in borrows. You can, but you can splash this guy if you're playing white or usually playing white, yeah. And you want to splash red if you need playables. Um, common cards worth mentioning. Unexplained disappearance is good. Good common card. Everything else is just average. So we're gonna go pick the bomb here. Experimental frenzy, a great card for burrows, aggressive decks. And in a scapable blaze, decent. And is it also acts as a finisher? Effector Indrake, great green card, six mana for a four four that can fight. Enter the battlefield. Ooh, we have luminous bonds here. Everything else okay. I think I'm gonna go with Lumin luminous bonds because we can get this guy out easier. Even though the fight is a permanent removal, like can kill the creature, and luminous bond is susceptible to disenchant, but I think it's fine. Three mana is a good removal, so I pick this guy. Ooh, Concave Clavalier, one of the better above average for drop, 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four. For Vigilance, and this guy replaces itself by making two 2-2 two, two green and white elf knight tokens. Capture Sophia is a good blue removal. And Skylight Legionnaire if you borrow. Uh, this is also splashable, it's fine. Fine card to splash for, it's a removal and a trick. But Conclave Cavalier is definitely the pick. White Hawk, uh, Healer's Hawk is fine. It's an average card in Celestia. It's a very good card in Boros. But there's not much, not much other choice. I mean, Shield May is just your regular 2-2. Two, 2-mana two, two for 2-2. Two, two. Recluse is an okay. It's an okay. I mean, if you don't have anything else, you, you need defense against Fly, it's fine. Healer's Hawk lets you curve out nicely. I think I might go with Healer's Hawk here. Everything else pretty average. Another card that we could pick is uh, the Guildgate. Hedge against a Black Bomb that we might pick off down the road. But I think I'm going to go with Healer's Hawk. Uh, Swarm Companion is the pick. Ooh, Siege Worm. Swarm Companion is usually found in Celestia, not in Boros. Siege Worm is a very good uh, late game if you're playing uh, Celestia. It's one of the payoff cards. It's one of the reasons you play Celestia. You get this guy out on turn 5 or 6, very good. 5-5 five, five, Trampler. Okay, so let's go with Siege Worm. It definitely between Siege Worm and Swarm Companion, but Siege Worm is the late game card payoff for Celestia. Uh, Hazda is okay. We have uh, 2 mana, 2-2 two, two bears, and enchantment. I don't like playing enchant creature cards. Very easy to get Trader 1 for 2. Circuitous Root is way too slow in this format. It's okay in Dominaria. Dominaria. I'll go. I'll pick this guy too too. This guy has a mana dump, so late game relevancy. Shield May is also fine because you can attack and then use um, because it has vigilance, so you can tap it for convoke. But that's very situational, and that depends on your opponent not having creatures or not wanting to trade. So I think I'll go with dissident. Um, here not much choice. We could pick up the Guild Gate and maybe Sumala. Sumala replaced itself, but it's a 2 1, it's very tiny. 2 1, very tiny. But let's go pick it. Let's believe in our oh, guild gate here for sure. Alright, so everything wheel back. We see Vapor still here, Swathcutter kind of Giant. Loxodon, I'm not a fan of. Uh, even though you can convoke this guy out earlier. 3 4 for 6. Ugh, it's like meh. But 4 mana is a huge boost. Normally, I like to splash red for Swathcutter kind of Giant. 6 mana, 5-5, five, five, Vigilance. This guy's a common, so he, I, you should we should be able to see this guy more often than not later in other packs. So I'm going to go ahead and swath cut a Giant first, in case we can splash for him. Here we can either go with Vigor Spore Worm, 6 mana, 6-4. Six, he can only block by one creature, or Call of the Culprit. Call of the Culprit is re removal. There will be targets for it, except against Boros. But everything, every other guild, there are targets for it. Okay, maybe except Boros and it's it. Hmm. Hmm. I want to go with Caller. Two mana, two do or Vigor Spore. Or Urban Utopia, if you want to splash. 
All these are wheelable cards. You're gonna see them quite often. Urbanotopia is a hedge against uh, a second color. Let's get our two two bears now. Oh, Swan Companion wield. That's what we want to see. That's Mata Marshall, but put in the sideboard. We're not gonna be playing Maniacal Rage. Oh man, this is good. So, if we splash red, this is a game changer against aggressive decks. If we can get this off, we basically win against aggressive decks. But this guy is also a good district guide. It replaces itself and mana fixes for you. Oh, and we have the Centaur too. Centaur is one of the common cards in Celestia. This is why you play Celestia. This guy, 5 mana, Convoke Vigilance, 4-4. Four, four. These are all very good cards. And I don't see these, these guys uh, wheeling. If we do not want to splash, I think this... Uh, but this 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 three guy just mana fixes for you. If you're not splashing a third color, you don't really need a district guide. I think Rosemary Center has a higher power. But if you want to hedge, I mean the power level of Definite Claren really wins games. Definite Claren wins games again, Stagro. <sighs> mm. I think the safe pick is Centaur. I think going Deafening Clarion or try to mana fix is getting too fancy. Centaur is just a solid card. Let's go Centaur. Let's not get too fancy. Let's not get too fancy. Ah, uh, here's our mana fixer too. Here's another fixer. Oh, Guildgate. Ah, uh, we'll take this guy with mana fix. Centaur Peacemaker, great three drop, no complaints. Gladly take it. Um, our second pick there will be the Guild Gate. Oh, find the finality. Another bomb card. This is also definitely splashable too. Wow, this actually wield? All right, there's no other cards. Nothing come close. I mean, we can gladly give up a locket in the Guild Gate for this card. Such a bomb. This guy, this card is above arm. Alright, since, oh, I, was, I got excited when I saw the Guild Gate, then I saw the Siege Room. <laughs> and Luminous Bonds. Mm. I think we want removal over Siege Room. We don't need to consider Guild Gate for now. Ah. Oh. Luminous Bond or Siege Worm? I think removal, right? Luminous Bond. Let's go for removal. Centaur and Harpooner? Man, this pack is stacked. All these cards are so good. We're not going to consider Sumala. So it's either Centaur or Harpooner. Harpooner is great. It, it kills bugs. It kills hawks. It kills any flyers basically. And it has reach. Now let's go with Harpooner. It's uncommon. Uh, here we can go for Righteous Blow or for a 2 mana 2 2. I think Righteous Blow could be a fine pick here. Sumala. Uh, nothing else really stands out, but I don't think we're going to be playing two, two Sumalas. We can have another Urban Utopia for fixing our Vigor Spore Worm. <laughs> Let's take Utopia, because I think uh, Fine Finality is definitely worth splashing for. Uh, take out. Uh, Guildgate. Guildgate or Locket? Oh, one card that one comments we're missing right now is the cat, Generous Stray. We could use more cats. Uh, yeah, this guy's fine as a two drop, a nice blocker, another two drop. I don't think we'll ever play two Somalas. 
two drop. <laughs> Aurelia, come on. This stack is just full of bombs. All right. Um, do we want another two drop? Right now we have one, two, three, four, five. This guy's good. It makes our swan companions bigger. If we had cats, it make our cats bigger. But I don't think we can give up. Give this up. Let's splash for it. Why not, right? Let's play a four color deck. What is going on? Is no one playing white and green? Pahelion Patrol or Centaur? I think Centaur has bigger power here. Pahelion Patrol only works on our Swan Companions right now and Healer's Hawk. Uh, we can go for another guild gate. I think guild gate is fine. <laughs> Luminous bonds, crushing canopy. I is definitely main double main main boardable. Knight of Autumn has a flexibility to become a four three or destroy target artifact or enchantment or gain four life. Yeah, great three drop. No need to think. Even over luminous bonds. There's a cat. There's a first striker two drop. All right, let's just take out all the very weak cards right now. Because I think we have too much playables at this point. Uh, we are 19 cards. Fine finality. Siege one. Okay, three drop. I think we can go with the cat or another peacemaker. I think a cat is good here. Oh, but this guy's a first striker. Uh, I think we have to go with the first striker. Do we want a fourth guild gate or crushing canopy? I don't think we need more than three guild gate. Three guild gate is kind of pushing it already. Luminous spawns. What is going on? Uh, another righteous blow. Sure, we put it in the sideboard. Uh, we don't need a Fumala Woodshaper. I think Pax Favor is okay trick. Crow for Rogers? Probably not so much. I mean, it's good to have healing. But we have so many late game already. Quite a bit of late game. But I don't think we have room for more non-creatures either. Alright, let's take Pax, take Pax Favor. There goes for one. Centaur Peacemaker Wheels. Alright, so one of the challenge we have right now is we don't have any guild gates with uh, Swamp with black and red. So we're playing our black here. This is definitely playable. I mean, we can just use the left half of the card. Aurelia's a bit more challenging. We have just two urban Utopias to try and fix that. Um, we have nine each right now. How many lands do we have? Fifteen lands. Let's play one mountain, and then with two urban utopia, three sources of red, two sources, two sources of black. What's the card count? Um, and we're already over the card count.
fine. Uh, we're playing Light of the Legion, Sea Drum, two Rosemary, Discordant is fine. Okay, maybe we don't need Sumala Woodshaper. We have other better cards. Three, Luminous Bond's good. Companion is good. Crushing Canopy. Destroy Target Enchantment was fine. Okay, maybe not Pax Favor then. We don't have any flyers right now. But we have a lot of removals. So, Crush Canopy or. Uh, let's, let's sideboard uh, crush can Crushing Canopy. Okay, we we can put in one more card. So let's take a look at our options. Man, if this was a guild gate, find a guild gate, that would be sick. So we missed out on district guide. We missed out on district guide. Which is kind of a shame. I know we chose Centaur over it, so it's it's not too terrible. We have one, two, three, five, two drops, four, three drops, two, four drops. Yep. We have eight, nine creature spells. We're trying to think what should take for our last card. Another two drop. Crushing Canopy. Pseudo removal. Take card is good. How many creatures do we have? 15 creatures. Alright, let's take a look at our mana, mana distribution. We have 9 mana, 9 planes, n uh, 9 forests. That should be fine. How many lands are we playing? We're playing 16 lands. 16 lands might be a bit too little. But our really high cost cards is just Discordant and Legion. Everything else can be convoked out. Maybe instead of canopy, let's use flower. Uh, three mana is good. We have the two drops. We have one of our bombs, and we have a removal. It's definitely keep. All right, we're facing against Demir. No disinformation, please. View shade. Right, he can pump it once if he wants, makes it a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we can Urban Utopia, or Pax Favor and Peacemaker. Let's remove the crab. Put a 3-3 three, three on the board. You can pump it up twice. Alright, uh, she has 4 mana open. That could be a counter spell. Um, 
let's see what we want to do here. I mean, we could luminous bond the view shade, but that seemed like a bit of a waste. His phantasm can get bigger if he has whisper agent. Let's see what we draw first. I'm not gonna play Discord in this turn. Let's see if we can bait out a counter spell. If we can bait it out, we will play um, Tristan, Trollstani next time. Uh, look, it, might, it looks like it might be Whisper Agent. No? Alright, so no Whisper Agents. Maybe no counter spells? Okay. Now we can play our Discord in here, and then we'll push with everything. Yeah, let's push with everything. If he removes it, that's fine. We still have a big creature here. Firefire Trampler. And we also have a removal in our hand. If he wants to block, probably double block 4 4. No? Okay. Watcher in the Mist. Alright, so most likely we're gonna Lumen on the spawn watching the mist. No, we're gonna be Lumen spawning Phantasm actually. Phantasm. Alright, let's assume we push everything, push with everything. Um he blocked three four three three. Three three two two. He blocks a four four. One, two, three, four, five. Five damage go through. Do I want to attack with 2-2 two, two Vigil? Nah, the 3 four is annoying. So let's attack with just a 4-4 four, four first. Do I have enough to cast Siege Room? Yes, I do. Now, assume he... Let's see what he plays. But if he has nothing here, he blocks... 6-6 six, six, four, four. Assuming he removed two guys, he blocks everything else. I just attack with two. I think still too close to try and risk it by pushing with everything. So we're playing against Demir. Light of the Legion. We saw Watcher in the Mist. We saw Deadly Visit. Nine. Okay. Yeah, I think I don't think we need to change anything. Hmm. Maybe in Crushing Canopy can go in. Maybe instead of flower, we can play crushing canopy. We saw two flyers. I 
Alright, so for our sideboard, we put in crushing canopy to deal with the flyers and we take out flower for mana fixing. For land fixing, actually. Three lands, uh, keepable, we have a removal, we have Swan Companions. So we can push out really early uh, Centaurs and Siege Room. Double green, double white, very good for us. Oh, this guy is slow. Hopefully he doesn't have Mephitic Vapors. No double blues, so we should be good to push our Centaur. Next time we can push our Siege Worm. If it assigns to Deadly Visit. Yep. Let's see what he likes, what he sees. He's gonna remove them. I don't think he needs more lands. Usually, the mirror you just need around five lands to go off. Enhance surveillance. Okay. Watcher in the mist. We're gonna go ahead and luminous bond that. Actually, we can just kill it. We we'll just kill it. It is a flyer. We'll save our luminous bond on something that crushing canopy did, could, could, were not able to hit. Man, he's flooding out. He got seven men already. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my lord. He has double blue in if he has counter spell. We're not going to cast a regular this turn. Alright, Whisper Agent. So we're gonna kill trade one for two. Play Aurelia first. Let's see if he has a counter spell. No. Okay, this was rather one sided. There's too <laughs> I have too many bombs. Aurelia, Discordant, Curve into Centaur and Siege Room, that's a bit too much. <laughs> three lands is good, two drop, three drop mana fixes. Yes, definite keep. He was hot, that's fine. Maybe we can draw into our Harpooner. Ah, oh, draw a Harpooner too late.
we want to start making our swan com companions a bit bigger. Pretty little Skogan usually fits better in a green black deck. Do we want to trade with the Hawk? <laughs> yeah, let's trade. Let's trade with the Hawk. So he doesn't, he's one step away from convoking up. Out a uh, siege room. Mm, yeah, sure, I'll trade with you. Alright, here's the problem. My first striker still only trades one for one. If he tries to double block. The heck is this? All right, this yeah, that works out for us. All right, we got two, four, six, eight. Alright, we cannot attack with our Sun Home Stalwart. Hmm, this is annoying. So, that pretty little Gorgon is gonna trade with our Siege Worm. No, let's use our center to trade first. Our center can attack. Peacemaker can attack. I used a four three to trade. So if he doesn't play anything next, he needs to decide. Uh, he probably used Gorgon to uh, block my worm. My Centaur gets through, and our Healer Hawks get bigger. Oh, we can do this now. Or do we want to use Luminous Spawn on a bigger creature? He does have three three cards in his hand. Wonder what he has. Yeah, let's save our removal. I mean, if he has a trick to remove our Siege Room or Centaur, he has it. It's fine. Blocks the Healer's Hawk. Interesting. Wow, how many tricks do you have? You don't have bounty of might, you need your one mana short. Pass. 
Fag's favor, Healer's Hawk. Alright, that's that's okay. We lost Sea Drum, Hawk, and Shield Mate. He lost Golgo and Shield Mate, Pack's favor. We lost healing ability. But we're putting in 5 damage per turn. And we have 2 removals in hand. <laughs> Is that 2 lands in his hand? Ugh, yuck. Now we're doing 3 damage a turn. We need more creatures. Where's our creatures? Where's our bomb, yo? That's fine. You're gonna fight? Okay. I thought he was gonna cast Prey. That would suck. Generous stray, it's fine. We want to finish him off ASAP. Yikes! What? What a top deck. Use my luminous one way too early. Right, so if, my, if I use my flower and flourish now, he can heal, he can put it on healer's hog. Right? Or he... Hmm. Not sure why he attacked with the cat. I think I have to do it now. I just attack with one guy. We do have one more luminous bond. All right, stop top tanking. Stop top tanking. Come on. Now he's out of our range. Dang it! What? Huh, I can top deck too. He got greedy, man. I don't know why he attacked with the 5-5 five, five, four. He got greedy. Just one removal would have finished him. What color do I prefer? I definitely prefer... I like playing Izzet. I like playing Green White Celestia. Those two are my decks that have the most successful with... Most success with tap water. So uh, I think we'll, we can put in Crushing Canopy.
but we kind of don't want to kill Boros of the Legion. Um, but again, we kind of need it. We kind of need it. What do we want to play then? Instead of flower, we'll put it in crushing canopy, I guess. Uh, I mean, Swath Card of Giant is okay. It is a late game card. Maybe we don't need Shield Mate. But we kind of need to Convoke. I don't know, all my cards are, are all pretty good. I mean, Swath Card of Giant is a, is a beast. And we are both slow decks. Alright, let's try. It. Let's put in Swath Card of Giant for late game. Oh, one land, mulligan. Two lands, fine. We can keep this. Uh, no, we need lands. So Centaur goes to the bottom. You have a hawk. I have a hawk too. Alright, we have fine finality. Which is a great AoE clear. Oh, come on. This is the same opening as last game. Oh no, we don't want to be stuck on two lands. Maybe Swast Cutter Giant was a mistake. Mistake! Okay, come on, but come on, this is not fair. What the? <laughs> This guy's stack is stacked too. He had Legion of the Boros and Loxodon. Why did he not attack with Loxodon? He needs it for Convoke? No, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. I guess he forgot. You know what needs to happen here? I'll tell you what needs to happen here. I need to draw in. I need to draw Urban Utopia and two lands. That's what needs to happen. Oh, this guy's freaking luck sack. Oh, yes! I have bombs too! Come on, your bomb versus my bombs. The only card that helps him is Prey Upon. That's the only card that helps you, bud. That's the only card that helps you. Let's go. Uh, if you have Pax Favor, let's go. Yes! Mm. Get the F out of here. Alright, Urban Utopia and one more land. And then we can clear all this trash away. Yes, 35 health! Don't tell me you have double tricks. All 
Okay. You. All right, that's two packs favor. That's two packs favor for you. Uh, Hapuna and Healer's Hawk, right? Actually, let me see. Yeah, Hapuna and Healer's Hawk. Take action and Healer's Hawk. Once I get my six, then this guy's gonna get it. I can't believe we survived that 10 3 locks of dawn. What? You have 40 health. Why are you conceding? Why are you conceding? Uh, two lands. Sure, we have a removal, so on companions, keep. What do we want to find? Planes? Do we want to find planes for balls? Whoa, this guy's playing three color deck. It's just I have so many cards with uh, with white requirements. A bad a. Eh? Get our center out ASAP. So this guy's main color is black and he's splashing blue and red. Splashing blue and red. This way we can get our siege room next turn if he doesn't have a removal here. What? Why? Why is everyone conceding? I guess he has all lands in his hand. Uh, so we saw a flyer. We'll put in crushing canopy. What else? Do we, what do we want to take out? We can take out one shield mate uh, let's take out Pax Favor I like creatures creatures is good alright going to game 2 of match 3 Oh, we got three colors. We have a one drop. We have three removals. This is a keep. Maybe he doesn't have dead weight this time. Go, Hawk. Midnight Reaper. But this means I can't lumen this bonnet because he's just going to keep drawing cards anyway. Stalwart might be the play here. Because it has first strike. So if we do manage to kill it with first strike, even though he draws a card, it's kind of like a push push because we don't lose our Stalwart. So we'll see what happens here.
I mean, we can Luminous Spawn, Child of Night, and push with both cards. The shitty thing would be if he has, um, what you might call it, Sacrifice Playcrafter or Sever Strength. He get value off that, and we will be out of a uh, Luminous Spawn. Uh, let's see what we do here. He could have Whisper Agent. I want a Luminous Bond. Yes, I know it's my go. Don't really want to give him a reason to draw cards. But I don't think I have a choice. At least this way we can make a hawk bigger. bigger. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have dazzling lights. He should have done it when I put on my mental trigger. Then this way, the the trigger fizzles, and I will still be attacking. Yeah, you should have uh, used Dazzling Lights as a uh, response to the Mentor Trigger. I think I just might uh, Luminous Spawn Midnight Reaper in the end. Because if I was him, I wouldn't try blocking with Midnight Reaper anyway. Ugh. That's annoying. Alright, so I'm going to Luminous Spawn my own Healer's Hawk. Now, if he wants to trade the Reaper, he go for it. Wow, no blocks at all, even with, with that Child of Night. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I think this is fine. Trading two for one, he takes one. Where's my lands at? I don't want to attack. Whisper agent would suck, yeah. I did not want to attack into Whisper agent. Looking for a fifth land?
I mean, we could get Centaur back out again. But we could also save it to find finality for finality, the right half of the card. I don't think we'll ever get it get it off. So um, let's get our creatures back. And I don't want to attack again still because um, we're at 7 for Convoke for Siege Room next turn. He's on the back foot. He's not going to be able to get any back swings in. They're not casting anything, eh? Yeah, let's cast my Centaur. He knows I have... He knows I have my Centaur, so let's get it out. Uh, actually... Yeah. I'll save my Flourish in case I need for a big push. Does he have another Whisper? Why is he not doing anything? He's got four cards in hand. Tap order 112. Man, TG is too complicated for me because I only played it once. You should give it a few more ch a chance to tap order. It is a fun game. It's very fun. Uh. Very, very fun. Um, do we want to push her? Let's get Siege Room out. Once you get the hang of the different uh, phases and steps, as well as uh, the understanding the stack and how to respond, it gets to be a lot, a lot of fun. Our opponents at 6 mana, we're still stuck at 4. I would like to have 6 mana, I would like to have 6 mana. Mm, he has to double block my siege room. He has to double block my centaur. Should I do it now? Maybe he was saving view shade, uh, the mana for view shade to pump it up for blocks. But now I removed it. I think this is a good opportunity to fight it. Dance magic and read the cards. I love this game. The online help to understand how things work. Yeah. Um, the online, it makes things so much clearer. Because if you try to watch an, uh, a paper magic, it gets very confusing at what's going on. The digital aspect makes everything so much clearer. Actually, it's like from hindsight, I could have finished the game much earlier. But I just wouldn't feel comfortable enough to try and make a final push. Because he could have tricks. Still. Ooh, no land. Easy mulligan. Two lands, that's fine. We have Urban Utopia, we have a first striker. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the Luminous Bonds. We will keep the Luminous Bond. The land would have been better, but Luminous Bonds is such a great removal.
I'm gonna play Hawk here instead of Urban and Tobia because I don't want to gamble drawing a land. Hopefully that's planes. But this way, if I play a Hawk, I can make my Hawk bigger if he has no answer. If he has no answer here. He has double blue, that could be a common spell, so I didn't want to uh, pump up my Centaur. With Urban Opopia, we now have double green and double white. <gasps> Aurelia. One card I haven't seen in any of the matches is my Concave Cavalier, 4 mana 4 4 Vigilance. Where are you? No, my Aurelia. My Aurelia. You have to take my Aurelia, man. I have the red sauce already. <laughs> my sweet Aurelia. What's going on, buddy? You got two mana now. Uh, two mana could be Disdainful Stroke. See if he has Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, he has it. If you have a fifth, then it might be Deadly Visit. He, he is going to need to cast it. Uh, so what happens here, if I make my pack favor bigger, I can pump out my healer's hawk as well. And I don't think that will be what? 8 damage to the face? He knows I have Pax Favor. I need to decide now though if I want to bump up my healer's hawk. That's the trouble. Hmm. But if I pump it now, I won't be able to get through next turn if he kills my healer's hawk. He knows I have Pax Favor. He can't block this unless he wants to chump it. We're two mana shots from using the right side of this card. He also know we have luminous bands. Luminous spawn, sorry. This guy has, he's flooding out pretty hard. Still attacking, why? He knows I have luminous bonds. Uh, 
Oh, he sacrificed. That's why he healed for two. I also wonder. Wait, why isn't he dead? Why were you not dead? Oh, he likes what he sees. He likes what he sees. Oh, he figured he saw a creature, but he also has a counter spell. But he knows I have luminous bonds, so even if he, he played the creature, uh, I will luminous bond it. Alright, let's see what we want to remove. We saw a lot of whisper agents, but nothing else. We saw severed strands. So can't really know how to deal with this. I don't I don't think we should bring in crushing canopy yet because we didn't see any flyer. So I think we can leave the deck as is for now. I mean we could put in righteous blow. He has a ton of whisper agents. So we'll keep our, our sideboard, our deck, the same for now. Because we didn't see much of his cards. He flitted out pretty hard and he only played Whisper Agents. But we do know he has Disdainful Stroke. So when he has two mana up, we just gotta uh, watch out for that. Ooh, this is a bit rough. Um, so we don't have white, but we do have Urban Utopia. We have Luminous Spawn, we have... Okay, this is fine keep, we're going second. Uh, when we do play our Urban Utopia, we're actually going to stick Urban U Utopia. Actually, we don't need to do that anymore. But if we didn't draw that Guild Gate, we'd stick Urban Utopia on, um, on the forest. Because Aurelia needs planes and red. And we don't need forest and red. We don't have any cards that go forest and red. Mm. Do you want to counter? Would you like to counter, sir? No. Alright, so he either doesn't want to counter it or he has no counter and wants to play Whisper Agent. There's the Whisper Agent. He likes what he sees. Is it a land? Uh, do we want to let him disdainful stroke this? Actually. Would you like to trade, sir? Another whisper? Yep. Have what I want, want to. I just don't want to invest the time into another game. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I find as I got older, I have to be very picky about what games I play. Very picky. No, my luminous bond. This tells me he has disdainful stroke, leaving two mana up again. So I'm not going to play my centaur just yet. I'll play my Hawk though. I'll play my Peacemaker.
Like I haven't been able to play Red Dead Re- Red Dead Red Dead Redemption yet, because I'm still stuck whether I should buy it. Because if I play it, it's gonna be like at least what eighty hours of time sink there. And I'd rather focus just on making uh playing Magic, streaming Magic, and making content for Magic right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm staying away from Red Dead right now. I guess our opponent is kind of kind of in a pickle because he wants to cast high cost cards or he wants to put minions on the board, but he knows I have Centaur, so he's trying to save two mana for it. But he knows, he also knows he can't just you know stop attacking, you know just you know keep waiting for my Centaur if it never comes out. I'm not gonna block because my Star Wars is gonna be a blocker. No oh, lord. Um. No, actually, my guy still dies. My guy still died to his crab. Oops. But it's fine. Our peacemaker can get through. Just the core, as card games are concerned, Hearthstone was great for what it did in the digital age, but Magic the Gathering is a game I've played off and on over the last 24 years. Yeah, same man. I've been playing on and off. No, my really uh, on and off since um since high school. But we didn't know what we were doing back in high school. We're just making up rules as we played. But the good thing is, now there's a digital version of um, Arena. There's no more, like, you don't have to deal with cheaters. You don't have to deal with um, all the drama of face to face playing if you're uncomfortable. Stuff like that. Digital is going to make magic more ac accessible. Especially when this is actually the real magic. You know, you have the stack, you have can, you can do responses and all that jazz. So right now my problem is that uh wish coin crab I can't get I can't get through Wish Coin Crab. I think I should have played my Centaur, baited out Deadly Visit, and then played Aurelia. I'm flooding. I'm flooding out. Tap water. Put. One on two single player games are for fun, but if you just want the full experience, it's so much playthroughs like how I play Dark Souls. Yep. Oh crap. Dark Souls is good. I I think I played Blood Souls three times in total, the whole playthrough. Uh, what else? Oh, I made a mistake. Why did I attack? Was my stalwart? Bait, bait. I have a trick. Don't block. Don't block. I have a trick. Do not block my stalwart. That was a misclick. Uh yeah, I got three playthroughs split through Bloodborne. God of War was another good one because of all the end game stuff. Okay, okay. Okay. That was close. My room is getting very dark and spooky. Yeah, cuz I'm facing the window looking out at the streets of Toronto. And it's getting dark already at 4 o'clock. 
so there's not enough light coming in. Oh, what is this? So what I have to do as time goes on, either I need to turn on the lights or I need to act, uh, wait, configure my video. Make it a bit lighter. But turning, turning up the exposure makes my camera laggy. Alright, so he most likely is gonna remove my 3 2 harpoon. But I think I need it anyway. He has a counter spell. He is saying I have a counter spell. Uh, so I'm just gonna play it. Just in case he doesn't have it, I don't want him to draw into it. Do you have counter spell? Disdain? Uh oh, hey yo. -oh. Yeah, bluffing. Bluffing. Probably remove my harpooner. My siege worm. Okay, sure. So we get to keep looking at each other. What? You have two? This guy has two erratas? Oh my lord. Irada is a shitty card, by the way. You have to pay for it. You have to wait for it to deal combat damage. And then you get shuffled back into the deck. My Hapuna! Wait, how many times does he have to do that for me to lose? Alright, so next game we're bringing in uh, Call of the Culprit. We're bringing that, that, that spell in. Come on, give me your 3 3. And give me your 3 3. You, you gotta block, man. You gotta block. Unless you know this card, this card right here is a trot again. Yes, no blocks, eh? I'm gonna need you to draw some lands. I'm gonna need you to start drawing some lands. Alright, he's probably gonna double block with Pass Wall and Predator. No, no, it's not, not Pass Wall, Pass Wall Adapt and Whisper Agent. And we're gonna kill Passwell Adept. Because we can't kill um, Passwell Adept with our Sun Home Stolp. <laughs> Disdainful Stroke. He's still calling attackers because. Yo, man, where's your, where's your land? Can you play some land? Jesus. Look, look, do what I'm doing. Playing lands. Every turn I'm playing lands. Come on. You got eight lands. Oh, man, I'm taking a beating now. See, look. Land. There you go. There you go. That's how you play lands. See, look. Just play land. That's all you gotta do. Just play lands. How many lands have I played? I got... 4 here, 12, 14 lands. Ugh. 
Oh my god, what the hell is my... my... Yeah, take that. Hello? Hello? Devious cover up? Oh. Too slow, too slow. All right, what's going to come out? What's going to come out? Um, now, Peacemaker is a bit, a bit awkward now huh? because of his Whisper agents. Mm. Fine Finality is definitely still a bomb. Healer's Hawk, I think, is still good. Maybe we healed him too much. Maybe we healed him too much. The only fly was we saw was um the mythic uncommon. Alright, let's go with this and see how this looks. We have five lands. Right, let's keep it. We got the red color that we need. We have a Hapuna. But I don't think it's going to be very useful. So I think I just might play it on turn two. You know what? Let's play this guy on turn two. Okay, that's the third game in a row where you hit me with Thought Erasure. This is getting annoying. Peacemaker? Why don't you like Peacemaker? Heals you. Ooh, he likes what he sees. Now he knows our hand has three lands. He's like, this guy's screwed. Three lands? What a joke. I have two lands in my hand. He knows our hand. Just trade, buddy. Just trade. One card in our hand. That's a land. Yeah, I'm not going to play into your disdainful stroke. Oh yeah. Uh, what should we do? Right, let's do this. Boom. And if you kill us, all our guys get bigger too. Boom. I'm not going to play into your disdainful stroke. <laughs> what? Why? He p 
pitch the land in the graveyard. Deadly visit, you lucky mofo. You lucky mofo. Yeah, get it. He needs to play two cards here. It's game over. I'm surprised. I guess he wanted to see what his next card was, and then he found Deadly Visit. So that kind of spell made sense. Final boss, let's go! Two planes, not a single greens. We have all our awesome cards, but we just need green. We're going first. This is not keepable. Alright, this is keepable. And do we want the Harpuna? Sure, let's keep the Harpuna. Harpuna is just so good. Especially when they do turn one Hawk or turn two Spy Bug. Just too good. And if they don't, we just hold on to it. And now we have the chance to make our hawk even bigger too. Conclave Guild Mage. So here's here's where how greedy I want to be. If I want, if I don't care about the fight, I do this so I can crank out Centaur next turn. Wow, stuck on two lands. Come on. We need a land. Just give us one land, please. Oh, you nasty, nasty person. He could convoke... Um, Pack's favor here, but I think it's okay. Three three is good, even though we heal for four. Three three can get, we're able to get past his two two. Healing Patrol is fine. We're just Luminous Bonded. Next time if we hit a land, it's going to be pretty much over once we drop this bomb. Another per Healing Patrol. Yeah. Here comes the pain. This terrible block, no matter how he does, it's gonna hurt. And there's no AoE for him. Even if he has Deafening Clarion, he can't kill, clear the board. He's at one health, I have seven attackers. No. No, still not enough. Still not enough. All 
Right, so he's playing Celestia. He has two Perhelion patrols. Uh, I think Call of the Culprit is fine, but we're definitely bringing in Crushing Canopy. Maybe Healer's Hawk isn't as good since he has so much flyers. So let's take Healer's Hawk out. Since we didn't see any four, uh, creature with 4 health, we're not going to put in Call of the Culprit just yet. We just put in a uh, Crushing Canopy for now. I think this is a fine keep. We'll, we'll curve off the first four turns. We'll be able to get center out as well. Oh no. Real guild gate. Now it doesn't look ex as exciting. I'll trade my 2 2 for striker for your guild mage. No? Okay. There's no place? Um, I can play this. No, I can play this and we still get our centaur, right? So let's let's see if he wants to um pack's favor. Attack with both. He could pack's favor guild mage, block the stalwart. We get 4 damage in and we get the centaur out. Renew for another 2-2, two, two. okay. He didn't use the 3 mana because you're gonna use 3 mana to cast something, no? Hmm. Uh, assuming he blocks, uh, Pax Favor Convoke. Pax Favor Convoke, block 2, just leave me with. He needs one more mana, and then he can start creating uh, chump blockers now. Oh, siege room. That means my Santo is gonna chump with his uh, six four, right? Actually, let's see what happens when we do this. So he decided to take more damage, 
to remove one of my cards. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, that's also fine. Wait, why? Why did he do that? He should give it to the six five. We have center. We have two shield mates. We need a black source if we want to clear the board. I don't know if we want to take these two cards. Hmm. It's going to heal him for four. I don't think that's good enough. I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, he can just keep keep pumping our minions then. There's no no point taking out the centaur for now. Oh, top deck. Uh, so we're kind of faced with another problem. We don't have a creature to stick two counters on. So to make sure it survives the minus four, minus four on everything. I mean, we could do this. Right? That's kind of ghetto though. Oh, come on, this is painful. One, okay, how many lands do we have? We have eight. I actually have to do this. Uh, I'm going to turn on this. It's <laughs> so ghetto. I don't have any big creature to survive, so I have to use Pack's favor to to save it. <laughs> now I have a four four first striker. No luminous bonds. No more removals, please. Oh my god! That top deck. Get your Pahelian Putra out of there. Alright, you can heal for four. Buy yourself two more turns. Can you draw some lands, please? That's not a land.
All right, bomb number two. Actually, I should have <laughs> uh, removed my Luminous Bond. Attack with Siege Room. Lethal. Yes! Ta-da! So, yeah. That's the end of this draft. Perfect 5 wins. Playing 4 colors. It's pretty good. Definitely had a lot of bombs passed to us. Definitely had a lot of bombs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It really encourages me to keep producing content and I'll see you next time.